Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. It's Art of Murder. Cards of Destiny. So when we left off in the last episode, we had interrogated the reporter. We got a hold of his uh, fingerprints by a little bit of trickery. Um, and uh, we noticed that they don't match what we found, but the prints that we did match up with uh, take us all the way to Maine. So we have to, uh, I guess, get clearance from the boss here, uh, and then we can head to Maine. So let's, uh, let's first talk to Ruth. The boss told me that the people connected with Benson's trial are safe. Unfortunately not. Judge Woolsey from Maine has disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. Left and didn't reach his destination. The police are looking for him. Want the details? So this can be the next victim? Oh, God, we're so helpless. Bye, Ruth. Take care, Nikki. Okay. All right, so uh, let's head to our office. And we shall get prepared to... We'll get prepared to go. The fingerprints we found in Carter's car don't belong to the journalist. Hmm. If we don't find any grounds to hold him responsible, he'll destroy us. Maybe not everything's lost. He was at the crime scene at least twice. That still makes him a suspect. You're perfectly right, but I have a gut feeling that the boss will tell us to let him go. We had his full support. I wouldn't count on him risking anything for us. Quite the opposite. We got a new lead. The fingerprints belong to a man that used to work at a military laboratory in Maine. What's his name? Paul Reed. He lives somewhere in Maine. Do you know anything more about him? He's 40. Dismissed from the army in 1999 for medical reasons. Paul. You remember the phone call? The murderer told you to call him Paul. Hmm. Interesting. Do you know what project they worked on there? In Maine? Queen of Hearts is the most famous one because we know nothing about it. Secret? Top secret. Main motive in conspiracy theories. We need to find this man. Let's ask the local sheriff to deal with it. We've got to talk to him. Sniff around, you know what I mean. You can't do that from a distance. I'd rather stay here and work on the security guy and the Newshawk. I have a feeling the latter is slipping through our fingers. That's why I'd think it over once again. And I wouldn't. I'm driving to Maine. You can stay if you want. You're going to act off on your own bat again? Yep. Yes. Again. All right. I'll come along. Cool. Off the main we go. All right. Norwich, Maine. Have you checked the house? There's nobody inside. I expected as much. Sure. There's no car in the driveway. Uncollected mail. I wonder if he's gone for a long time. We need to ask around for this guy in town. Okay. This barn. It matches. Matches what? All those devices, mechanisms. The card man loves them, and he has to keep them somewhere. And assemble. You think he stores explosives here? There may be bomb craters somewhere out in these fields. Okay. Let's check that barn. Nothing doing. How's that? It's obvious you need a warrant. So go and get one. Alone? We're a team, aren't we? I'm just saying that we don't need to go there together. I don't want you to mess things up again. Mess things up? Again? <laughs> I guess we're not a team anymore. Come on, you know the card man's very dangerous. Yeah, and he's certainly ensnared his next victim. Maybe he even holds them here, in the barn. I don't think so. All the traps he set were far away from here. I'm supposed to be a witness of his game, so I'm safe. 
Yeah, as long as he controls the situation. But once he sees you here, he's gonna panic. Be prepared for the worst. So far, I get the feeling that you want to control the whole investigation. Why? Because you're just pushing blindly ahead. You don't give others any time to prepare for the action. He doesn't give it. You've forgotten it's you who started the power plant installation? Oh, was it also me who started the steamer in Louisiana? No, but he would have waited for you, even a whole day. I'm sure of it. In a moment, you'll tell me that you've got female intuition. What's the background of those crimes? You said that for him, you were like a witness of the game. He relishes it. He desires admiration and probably fantasizes that you're admiring him. Are you implying a sexual overtone? You think so? It's possible. I mean, that would explain why he wouldn't let me get so close. He's seducing you. You're joking, right? It's like with courtship. First, you need to attract attention and then try to maintain it at a suitably high level. I don't know. I can see something different in it. He fascinates you. Admit it. Give me a break. I abhor him. I'm just focusing on the case. Yes. I can't. Not right now. Lens? What kind? I see. All right. Thank you. Somebody from the Bureau? Nothing important. Where were we? Wondering about what to do next. Fine. I'll go to the town. Go, but there's little you can do. True. We don't even know what we're supposed to search for. But I'll talk to the judge to check what the odds are. We need to talk to the town people about Reed as well. You know, he may have nothing to do with the killings after all. The serials usually begin where they feel safe, on their own ground. And Maine seems to be perfect. Anyway, I'm going to the town. You sure you want to stay? Yep. Already told you. I don't have any other ideas. Then let's get down to work. Cool. Alright, let's, uh... Well, wait a second here. Okay. Take a look around. We've got a uh, mailbox, a car, mattress, tractor, barn, barn door, house. Well, let's start at the mailbox. The mailbox is full. There's a mattress on the fence. It says we can take it, so we might as well. An inflatable mattress. You could use it while camping. Okay. All right. Um, let's uh, go check out the tractor. I'm not not going to look at my car, that's for sure. Does Reed use agricultural machines, or does he just keep them for appearances? Right. Okay. So let me get the barn. She's got to run away if to look Reed's at it. the killer we're searching for, then I suppose he prepared for the murders in the barn, not in the house. Okay. Let's go to the barn door. Okay, what do we got over here? We've got behind the barn, barn door, stove. Okay. On the stove we have pump. These days, a stand pump is a rarity. Okay. Well, we'll take that for the mattress, I think. A packet of salt. I sure, can't reach not? it. All right. The door's falling apart, just like the whole kitchen. Okay. And then in here. Okay. Now we've got soap. Soap. Here. Sure. Why not? Sure. Why not? Okay, is that it? Is that everything? Okay, let's back out of there. Okay. Let's uh, check out behind the barn. Since it doesn't have an action Upstairs, on the Upstairs, there's a window ajar. Ah, there we go. Okay. 
We've got junk, window, conveyor belt, conveyor belt. Check out the junk. Piles of junk lying around, as usual at the rear. Okay. The window's ajar. If only I could peek through it. This conveyor belt is used to transport the loads to the upper story. Okay. Let's look at it closely. Alright. What do we got? We got bottom structure, hard ground, ice, wheel. The wheel got stuck in the hole. The water froze and trapped the wheel in the hole. Okay. An ordinary board on the snow. Well, let's take that ordinary board. Let's, uh... What if I push the conveyor towards the wall? Right. Okay. Something could be placed underneath. Alright. I can't move the conveyor until I take the wheel out of the hole. Alright. Um... Not gonna happen. Okay. Um... Let's, uh, let's melt the ice. Look the snow is melted thanks to the salt. Cool. Um, take this, put it on the hard ground. Take this. Nothing doing. No? A flat mattress won't be of any use to me. Okay. So the purpose of the valve is obvious. I'm just wondering if the mattress keeps the air. Right? Well, we'll find out. Okay. The mattress is inflated. Very cool. Okay. Not going to happen. Nothing doing. Okay. Hmm. Let me think here for a sec. All right. Little experimentation. These items don't match. There we go. Like that. Let me take that. The boards become smooth after soaping it. That uh, slicks it up, and then. Great. Out of the hole. But why can't the conveyor slide down the board? I don't know. Brilliant job. The conveyor moved right under the window. Right on. Okay, so now I think that should be it, right? Let's uh, go up the conveyor and uh, check out the... The objects on the table, they remind me of something. Right? What do we got? We got we can inside, return. This piece looks like the laser from the old power plant. Yep. There are pieces of assembled devices on the table. The box reminds me of the parcels from the card man. Yep. An old movie projector! A modern device must have cost lots of cash. Okay, can we go inside? Hmm. That's what I call a well-equipped workshop. Okay, so we're inside. We've got an elevator, a code panel. All right, we want to come over here to the desk. Now it's obvious. This is where the card man was preparing his deadly machines. Okay, but where's the guy? Right? Okay. So in here, we have this. <laughs> This laser hasn't been assembled. That was a flashback of some sort, This huh? laser hasn't been assembled. Right. Okay. Are these projectors restored here by any chance? Right. Okay. A box end wrench. I remember this panel. 
It's something you can't forget. Right? Okay. What else? This wafer makes me think of the disaster at the crossing. Yep. A box end wrench. Okay. I remember this panel. No. It's something you can't forget. I remember this. Okay. Are these projectors restored here by any chance? It's possible. This laser hasn't been assembled. Okay. I remember this. Okay. The box has a combination lock of a familiar structure. Once again, is that everything? Did I look at everything on the table? I think I did. Okay. So that's everything on the table. Okay. So we've got the elevator door. The elevator door is locked. Okay. That must have something to do with this combination lock here. The owner of this house has got to be a logical game buff. Ah, okay. Um, so... This button is used to randomize the sign sequence. Okay. The knob is used to scroll the signs in the right window. Okay. All right, so do I... Be three, two, one, nothing? Wrong choice. Okay. So this way, that way, this way. light is on. I think I've chosen the correct symbol. Okay. Alright. So, you're pattern matching. Sort of. So, four lines, four lines, three lines, one, two lines, two, two lines, one, Okay. We got rid of the first one. So, facing left, facing right, up. No, I gotta find that pattern. There's an awful lot of combinations here. Um, so, is that that? The first light is on. I okay. think I've chosen the correct symbol. All right. Okay. 
Now, got one line diagonal, one line straight. One line diagonal should be one line straight. Wrong choice. Huh. Okay, let me figure this out and then we will come back. All right, so I've got two lights lit now. Uh, now I have to find the last one. So left, sideways, up, vertical, right, sideways. So this one should be down vertical. That looks like the pattern to me. Great, I did it. Okay. Is the card man waiting for me upstairs? All right, so let's just enter the elevator. We'll see what happens. I think those devices were designed here. Yeah. Okay, we've got diagrams, air conditioning, diagram. All right, um, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the diagram. Come on, what's with, with haste? I guess this is a laser diagram. Yep. It's a bomb diagram. Yep. Anything else in here to look at? Oh, over here. And this device? A fan? A propeller? It must be scorching here in summer. Right? Okay, so I think that's it. I could go back down. Stay where you are, thief. Calm down. I'm not moving. I'll explain everything in a second. She may have a gun. Sure. I'm an FBI agent. The name's Bonnet. That's correct, sis. The FBI have invaded our farm. Put down your weapon, please. What are you doing here? You've got a warrant? We'll get it. Now, yeah, you see? Too bad you didn't shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> now it's too late, Paul. I'll explain everything, but please put down your weapon. Not so fast. First, tell me why you've broken into my house. Call the police if you're still afraid of me. Now, you see, the government can do what they want. Now, the cops will let her go anyway. We'll file a complaint against you. Okay. You have the right to do it. Now let me explain. The window was open. Ah, I can see you've got long legs. But not that long. She climbed the conveyor belt. I noticed something suspicious through the window. Hmm. And what was it, sweetheart? Is the FBI interested in agricultural machinery? I'm conducting an investigation. Into what? Before I answer, your name, sir, is Paul Reed, right? She's fallen in love with me. <laughs> it is? So what? I do apologize, but I need to ask you if... Well? You've been in the wheelchair for long. Ten years. It's been ten years, darling. It's wonderful that you take care of your brother. Cut the soft soap. Do you often leave this place together? To the town? Yes, we do. Any further? Like, on vacation? Why? <laughs> You'd like to take me with you? <laughs> you city lady. We don't have vacation here. Get to the point. We can't wait. So, I'm investigating a murder case. Wow. Tell me why you broke in. I didn't. The window was open. Talk to me, if you want to save your ass. You really should. Your fingerprint was found on a certain device which was used to kill a person. Kill? Who? It's some kind of bullshit. His name was Edward Carter. You know the guy. I know Joseph and Alice. I don't recall any Edward. We'd hear about this murder, wouldn't we, Fan? The case is quite recent, but it happened in New York. This is Maine, woman. We've found your fingerprints. Fingerprints, right. But on what? On a chip. It was connected to an immobilizer. Why? To bypass it and take control of the car. 
But you can't control the car like that. All you can do is stop it. That was the point. The car stopped at a grade crossing and was rammed by a train. Well, I'll be damned. What? Too bad about the car, huh? <laughs> Enough of this. I, I want you to get out. Mr. Reed, can you explain how your fingerprint got on that object? Are you sure it's mine? We compared it with the one from the military records. Those army bastards. They can't even protect their own secrets. You don't have to explain yourself. We're not going to talk to people who act like thieves. Mr. Reed, it would be better if you talk to me right now. You're not questioning him without a warrant. After what I've seen here, I'll easily get a warrant. You don't know our judge. I don't want to interrogate you. I'm just asking you to talk to me voluntarily. Carter's killer is on the loose. There'll be other victims, unless we catch him. Paul has to be taken care of right now. Please leave. Wait, Fan. We need to help them. How can you help them? We'll see. Agent? I'm all ears. Since you found my fingerprint, it... Could have been the circuits I constructed here a few weeks ago. Why did you construct them? To earn money. And who paid? See, that's the problem. I don't know. So, what did the guy look like? Never seen him. How come? You'd better not cover up for him. He just sent me a general diagram explaining what he wanted from me. Do you still have that mail? No. Where was it from? I don't remember. It wasn't important then. And the pay? That may have been New York. Every time, the money was sent from a different city. Every time? I knew it was him. I received such orders only from him. We know of at least six victims. Damn it. Life sucks, doesn't it? Paul, say no more. Too late, Fan. Get the hell out of here. How? What did he use? For instance, a gantry crane connected to an explosive charge protected by lasers. Did the bomb explode? No, the woman... Oh, a woman. Yes, she died of a heart attack. He tied her up and put her under a gantry, and a half-ton weight was hanging above her. The weight was dropping a couple of inches at regular intervals. Paul, how do you know all that? I programmed that damn thing, remember? We bought a new audio set for that job. How many such orders did you have? Eight, maybe nine. Eight lucky, extremely well-paid orders. Plus advances for the supplies and tools. I helped him to kill eight people. Paul, don't say that. New windows on the porch, remember? The computer, armchairs, and that new dishwasher. One purchase. One life. I can't listen to this crap. Shut the hell up. Don't worry. They won't do anything to me. Kitchen knives producers or even weapon manufacturers don't get thrown into prison. But imagine an electric wheelchair. <laughs> Stop it, I beg you. Calm down. That's not fair. I he's just gotten back on his feet. Back on his feet. <laughs> We're not begging for mercy. We're not imposing ourselves on the world with our problems. God knows how much it costs us. But we manage. We lead honest lives. We don't steal, we don't hurt anybody. Do you understand? I do. You don't have to be afraid. No, you don't understand. No tragedy has turned your life upside down. No stupid, absurd accident has ruined your hopes. But be careful, Missy. Everybody's teetering on the edge, but only a few notice that. Fanny, sis. Okay. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm chasing an extremely dangerous man. He can kill somebody again any moment. He's murdered three people lately, and we're afraid he's caught his next victim. That's why I'm so determined. That's why I barged in. I'm sure you wouldn't just stand by idly, knowing that there's even the slightest chance of saving somebody's life. She's right, Fan. You wouldn't let that killer get away with it. Once you get mad, nothing can stop you. Years ago, she caught her husband with another woman and chased him in his shorts through the whole town. At the town limits, she shouted at him that she didn't want to see him again and then fired several times in the air. He didn't dare return, did he? 
I've erased his name from my memory. All men have been giving her a wide berth ever since. This woman hasn't come here for female prattle. It would do you good if they locked me up. Then you'd finally have time for yourself. We don't need the government's help to control our own lives. Yeah, yeah, controlling our lives. Ten years ago, I was an engineer in a secret base. I was working on next-generation weaponry, and I thought I was holding all the aces. And then Peter talked me into carrying out that experiment, despite the ban. Me riding a wheelchair is a simple consequence of that folly. But I can't accept the fact that you're confined to it as well. What's the point of brooding over it? Why do you make yourself miserable? I can't stand the thought that you've wasted your youth because of me. You see, he's tormenting me with his guilt. Men just don't understand anything. Was anybody else injured in that accident? No, Peter was fine, but he suffered serious consequences. They put him into prison for five years. What kind of accident was it? I still can't discuss it. <laughs> Military secrets, you know. <laughs> Code name Queen of Hearts? What do you know? I see the project has become famous. Have you seen your friend after he was released from prison? What is his name? Peter Douglas. We used to be close friends, but he didn't want me to visit him in prison, and we haven't been in touch since then. Feeling guilty? His world fell apart. He was brilliant and extremely gifted, but... Prison meant the end of his career. No government agency would ever hire him. Okay. Who could have ordered all these machines? I've been thinking about it, and I haven't figured it out. But they know what you can do. Yes, it's somebody that knows me because they live near my place or somebody from the army. Letters, receipts, diagrams. Will you show them to me? Yeah, uh, I need to look through my documents. Come back with a warrant. That's a better option. My partner will get it. He should be back soon. Ah, the man we passed by when we were coming back home. You said he reminded you of somebody. Yes. Didn't he used to work for the police? How long ago? Back when Derek Finney died, remember? Finney? That womanizer? Can you tell me something more about it? Finney used to be a good guy, but he started drinking and chasing skirts. His wife was jealous, so he beat her. God, did he abuse her. No wonder somebody finished him off. I don't know if he deserved such a fate. That was a horrible crime. He was strangled with a rope tightened by the turning clockwork mechanism. Yes, I remember that. He died inside the church tower. Was the murderer caught? I haven't heard anything about it. And you? No. Derek ended up like this because he started drinking. Alcohol isn't for the weak. And that woman, Finney's wife, does she live here? No. She moved away soon after, but her father does. How can I find him? It's easy. He's the pastor. The church is in the center. I'll be back with the warrant. Bye. I can't wait. Hmm. I guess that's all. Too bad. It was so nice talking to you. <laughs> okay. So... I guess we're going to go to the church and talk to the pastor. Um, we're, we're progressing along pretty quickly, but that's going to do it for this week's episode. So, if you liked what you watched, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any tips or anything like that, no spoilers, put them in the comments below, because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Monday for another episode of Art of Murder. Cards of Destiny. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above. Or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.